Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Stephen Hohendorf. I'm the Education Director here at the Arizona Broadway Theater. I'm joined today by actor and star of our current production of Game Show, Jamie Michael Parnell. Welcome, Jamie. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here today. So for those of you who have not seen the show or are not familiar with the show, Game Show is a show where the audience has the opportunity to actually be a part of the show mm -hmm. and play the game every night live. They, yep. they answer trivia questions. Um, so Jamie, with such a unique style of show, what was your rehearsal process like? It's interesting because this show has large chunks that are essentially, they're audience based. Um, and then we have large chunks that are script based. So we had to go through and rehearse the script based portions with just the actors. And then it wasn't until sort of the end that we got to place in the actual rounds of the game show because we didn't have anyone to play it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's difficult to get the momentum going if you're, you know, I can go through and practice what I am going to say when I'm asking the questions. But it really wasn't until um, we started having audience members and volunteers come in um, that we got a good feel and I got a good feel of how that was going to um, occur. What was interesting and what was really lucky was we were able to bring in audience members far earlier than we would in a normal process. Typically, we won't see them until the day before opening. And with this process, we started bringing them in a week earlier mm -hmm. just so we could get the flow of the show as a whole. Um, for any young performer or any performer in general who might be interested in learning more about improv, uh -huh. how could they do that? And are there any sort of rules of improv that that you follow as you go along uh, to get involved in improv it's as easy as a Google search I think um, especially here in the Phoenix metro area Google improv groups it's gonna be you're going to be amazed at how many of them there are and there are improv nights and there are comedy nights and there are there are uh, uh, clubs that you can be a part of where you can start to hone your skills and you can watch people who have honed their skills continue to do it. And that's where you learn so much is being able to participate with them and you, you grow from what they teach you, you grow from what you learn from the audience. Um, and conversely, the, the pros learn from you too. I'm, one thing that I've always said to young actors that I think is the most important thing you can do is listen. Listen to people watch people, be curious mm -hmm. about the reasons they do things. If you see somebody, you know, walking in a strange way, be curious about why, mm -hmm. because you never know what the story is behind that. And the more you absorb from those instances, the, and the more you can um, relate to other people, the easier it is to do in, in the moment and at a moment's notice. Um, as far as rules that I follow, I mean, the big one that you talk about in improv is not only say yes, but yes and, which mm -hmm. means um, someone gives you a set of given circumstances, you know, you ask them or they introduce themselves, who are you? In this show, I ask, please give me your name, where are you from, what do you do? And most people give me their real name and they say, I'm from Surprise, Arizona, or I'm from Glendale, Arizona. But if someone were to say, I'm Glenn and I'm a Martian, you know, <laughs> then in the moment they are Glenn mm -hmm. and they are a Martian. Mm -hmm. And so I will proceed with the scene as if that is their name, um, regardless of, of whether it is the truth or not. And um, so that's, that's a big one. Definitely say yes to everything. Ironically, I have to ask them questions in the show. So I say a fair amount of no, that's incorrect, but always <laughs> say yes. Um, and then to add on to that, the yes and, mm -hmm. which is take what they say and bring it further, mm. further the story. Ask them more, bring it back to that later. It just helps to create um, a more round, varied scene that you can create. Um, and in this show specifically, it helps to um, connect with the other audience members and it helps to connect with the people you are interacting with, which <laughs> just creates a, a more cohesive sense of fun and the world we're creating for the audience at large. And then finally, like I said, I saw the show on opening night. I absolutely loved it. I was just smiling from ear to ear the whole time. Everyone I've run into who's seen the show is absolutely loving it. Why do you think people are enjoying it so much? I think it's because 
they get to be part of it for mm -hmm. one they get to to feel a sense of ownership mm -hmm. over it and also um no one even though they're wrong i think so much in our life being wrong is looked at as as, as something that's bad and right. here you're allowed to be wrong but nobody makes you feel stupid mm -hmm. for it if you're wrong it's funny and we have <laughs> fun and everyone it isn't laughing at you but everyone gets to laugh along with you everyone's on equal footing nobody really knows what the answers are no one is better than anyone else and so it becomes this just wonderful com community for a moment um that that audiences are always a part of but they don't always get to feel it so palpably and this time the audience is literally reaching out and short of touching you but i'm verbally touching you and we're making eye contact and we're <laughs> interacting and that's really fun and exciting and it's not something you get to see every day Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Jamie. Absolutely. And if you haven't done so yet, do yourself a favor and check out Game Show at the Arizona Broadway Theater running now until August 14th.